Ladies and gentlemen, let's do 60 seconds uninterrupted from Lino Rodriguez. Lino Rodriguez, everybody. Here we go. Straight out of the bucket. Anything can happen. Hello, my name is Lino Rodriguez. I'm a door guy on 6th Street. And right now my main diet is pizza and cigarettes, you know? I really got to stop eating cigarettes. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm actually Puerto Rican. I, I'm a Puerto Rican that can't speak Spanish, though. If I had to compare that to anything, I think it'd be like being a Catholic priest that doesn't fuck kids. Uh, everyone expects me to, but I'm just one of the good ones. <laughs> uh, I wasn't raised that way. Um, the other day I was hanging out watching my new favorite movie, Tyler Perry's Medea Goes to Palestine, and... Uh, I'm my girl, just get a learn. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I started to think about how I like to do Molly and compliment bald people on their eyebrows, you know? <laughs> They don't really hear that anymore. I actually think they should start dyeing their heads like uh, Easter eggs. That'd be fucking... <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm Lino, okay. thank you so much, thank you. Lino yeah. Rodriguez, you. our first bucket pull of the night. Your next bucket pull, ladies and gentlemen, a minute uninterrupted goes to Jerry Carlin, everybody. Here we go with Jerry Carlin. I uh, had a mustache for a while, uh, but I think it looked silly on me, so I started uh, clean shaving my pubes. <laughs> I uh, used to be a cutter, but now I just spit on people. My, uh, my grandpa is starting to lose his judgment. He can't really drive anymore. And um, there was a blackout in his neighborhood and he almost shot the guy. Sometimes I would like to be black, but uh, makeup is expensive. <laughs> if uh, Kanye West has taught us anything, it's that the Jews ain't worth the squeeze. <laughs> A uh, sex worker uh, bit my dick once, uh, so it was half off. Stop right there. Okay, Jerry Carlin, very good. All right, pulled another name out of the bucket. Here we go, 60 seconds uninterrupted from Andrew Ginsberg. Here comes Andrew Ginsberg, everybody. Here he is. Come on, make some noise for Andrew, everyone. Yeah, I got called for jury duty last week. I've had to do that in a while. I was a little nervous. I uh, haven't had to do it in a bit. I don't know anything about the justice system. I've seen uh, 895 episodes of Judge Judy, but that's it, so I didn't know what to expect, you know what I mean? But my friends told me, don't worry, there's a really long orientation before they start, so they'll teach you everything you need to know about sending somebody to jail. But they didn't tell us anything about that. For 30 minutes, the lady behind the counter, all she told us about was how to fill out the address section of the juror form the whole time I was there. The whole time she was just like, if you live in a house, you're not gonna put an apartment number on the form. You live in a house. Sir, why are you putting an apartment number on the form? You live in a house. This went on for 30 fucking minutes, you know? And I'm saying to myself, why are they telling us about this instead of anything about the, the justice system? Why are they telling us about this address form? And it dawned on me. The other people in my group, they couldn't fill out the address form. They were struggling with it. It just got me thinking, like, these are your peers. This is the jury. If you commit a crime, these fucking people are going to sentence you to prison. They can't even fill out the fucking address form. There's a lady in my group in a Klondike bar at 9.30 in the morning. Are you fucking kidding me? If you, if you eat ice cream before lunch, you're not qualified to send somebody to prison. I'm sorry. That's how I feel about that, you know? Started taking my anger out on the judge. I was like, dude, you studied law for what, 20 years? You need help from 30 random fucking weirdos to help you make a decision? Get it together. Use your brain. You're a lawyer. It's like if I went to the doctor and he was like, I think you have cancer. Good Lord almighty, Andrew. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Put your hands together. Another bucket pull. 60 seconds uninterrupted for Matt Sturm, everybody. Here we go. Matt Sturm. Hey guys, fuck. How's it going? I'm getting a little fat. Uh, 
You're not fat, why are you laughing, man? You're a little fat, you are, you piece of... No, you're a good guy. Uh, I'm getting a little fat, guys. Uh, I was with a girl recently, she tried to titty fuck me. Yeah, you ever have that happen to you? She was starting to milk me like a fucking ravaging beast. She was fucking pulling my tits and shit. Uh, I'm Matt, by the way. Uh, I'm German and Jewish, so I want to kill myself. You know? Uh, yeah, it's not a joke. Uh, what else, guys? Fuck, man. Uh, Passion of the Christ 2 came out quick. Uh, I can do this fast. Passion of the Christ 2 came out quickly. Mel Gibson announced it. It's a good time for him to hate Jews, right? Fuck. You can laugh. I just said I'm Jer uh, Jewish. It's okay. How do you guys feel about Hamas? You like Hamas? No? Oof. You don't like it, huh? Uh, what? I can't... I, what did you say? Oh, that's it. Wow. Wow. All right. <laughs> We're back to the bucket, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see what happens here. You've seen how crazy it can get. This is 60 Seconds Uninterrupted by Davey Jackson. The Kill Tony debut or reappearance of Davy Jackson. Uh, so I've been trying out some new jerk-off techniques. Uh, actually invented a couple new techniques, not to brag, but uh, one of them's very similar to The Stranger. I feel like the Kill Tony universe is pretty familiar with The Stranger. All right. Yeah, for those of you that don't know, it's a jerk-off technique where you sit on your own hand until it goes numb, and then you jerk off and it feels like a stranger's jerking you off. Yeah, pretty cool technique. I can't take credit for that one. I did not invent it, but the one I invented is actually very similar though. It's called the reverse stranger. That's right. It's where you sit on your own dick. <laughs> until it goes numb. Then you jerk off and it feels like you're jerking off a stranger. Pretty fucking cool, guys. That's a good one. Not a bad technique, yeah. That's a good one. This final technique is the one I'm most excited about. Been trying it out a lot. Uh, it's where you sit on someone else's dick <laughs> until it goes numb. And that is actually just gay. It's very, very gay. Been going through a lot. Pretty confused. I'm Davey Jackson. Thank you. There you go, Davey Jackson. Welcome back. You've been on this show before. Yes, sir. I remember you well. All right, this last name is a tough one. His is out of the bucket. Make some noise for Jose Vanellas or Vanellas or Oineas. Here he is, Jose, everybody. Make some noise for Jose. These people wait all day for this. I used to, uh, I used to weigh well over 300 pounds. Yeah, doctors kept calling me weird names like severely unhealthy or morbidly obese. I just thought I was round and lovable. You know. I also suffered from uh, what I believe a lot of people also struggle with in this room. It's called uh, being stupid. Oh. Uh, I only say I was stupid because I let my mom do my back to school shopping at Tractor Supply. Yeah, she got me a shirt, had a picture of a barn on it, it said, and I quote, what happens in the barn stays in the barn. That's bestiality 101, guys. I don't know what to tell you. I don't know. All right, before I go, uh, I have a buddy. His name's Nick. Uh, every time I see him, I go, hey, Nick, 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 Nickelodeon. You guys get it? It's because he's a pedophile. <laughs> Hi. Wow. All right. Make some noise for your next comedian. 60 seconds for Maddie G, everybody. Maddie G. Do, uh, do gay guys queef? I think COVID tests are a lot like uh, SED tests. If you don't take it, you don't have it. Um, I've been taking biotin to uh, grow out all my facial hair. I didn't know that biotin was a hair supplement for all your hair. I got a bush down there. So yeah, now every time I wanna take a dick pic, I gotta hire a team of Mexicans just to come over. I've basically been taking Scott's Turf Builder 
for my balls. Yeah, it's a real jungle down there. Jose does good work though. He makes my little bonsai tree look like a giant sequoia. Thank you. Uh, let me tell you something. Here's, I pulled out of the bucket until I got a lady. You guys ready for your final bucket pull of the night? 60 seconds uninterrupted for Kelly Quinn, everybody. Kelly Quinn. My husband always gives me grief for saving all my fast food napkins in his car. I tend to value worthless things, like our children. He also isn't real fond of the fact that I like true crime podcasts. He says he's worried for my soul. And he should be worried, because statistically, I am the most likely to murder him. He's a history buff, and he's fine with war. I guess domestic homicide is just not in a big enough volume. But it does answer for me the question of nurture or nature. He is German. <laughs> we are almost empty nesters, so I thought we should travel more. He said, yes. We should take the path of Lewis and Clark from Pittsburgh to the Oregon coast. It's 4,900 miles. We'll go through 60 native territories. It'll be badass. I thought it would be nice to go to Dallas. There you go, Kelly Quinn. I saved you from the bear there. I knew you were about to get to it. Be careful outside, it's getting dicey. If you're gonna try stand-up comedy, put on a mask, because there's pollen outside. You don't wanna fuck up your one chance on Kill Tony. Call in right now, 421-1015, get two free John Mayer. Oh, we're gonna take that call right now, hello? Yeah, hi, it's me, Red Man. I'm looking for a titty pop. <laughs> Her knees are blown out. <laughs>